Ben Heffer here with Kingdom of Mate and I'm joined now with Steve Aimable who's just put on what is definitely the, uh, the fight of the night and a great performance to retain the uh, BCMMA title. Thank How you. do you feel now? Knackered to be honest, but it's great to defend my title again, keep my winning streak going. Yeah, it was a lot harder than I thought, so um, I thought I was a round down, so I, you know, it was a hard, hard fight. You got caught with a couple of shots, so it was a big knee to the, uh, looked like you yeah, took a little uh, and a couple to the chin. How yeah, did you feel in there? Um, I weren't expecting it, he threw a couple of flying knees, I think the first one hit me in the body. <coughs> <coughs> That's not from the body shot. <laughs> um, yeah, and then he hit me with a couple of lefts to the body, I thought they were coming to the head, but did a lot of ducking and weaving, so I thought it was coming to the head, he caught me right, right in the body again. Uh, took the wind out of me, I could feel that, you know, yeah. yeah. On the feet, it was uh, very much back and forth affair. Both of you had your good shots. Um, but I think personally, it was the takedowns that, that won you the fight and the work you did on the ground. Yeah. Would um, you agree with that? Yeah, I would before the fight, because all of his wins had come from submission. I was expecting him to at least try and take me down. Um, he tried a couple of times, but they, were, they didn't really feel too much like they were intended takedowns, you know, so I expected him to take me down more. And then I could feel that he was getting the other hand on the striking, which was, I was surprised by. Um, I couldn't find my range, so my jab wasn't landing when it did. I didn't think it would, so I didn't follow it up. Um, but I've always, I always hit the big takedowns when people rush me. Yeah. No matter what, I get them pretty much all my fights, so. Yeah, there, was a, there was a giant takedown in that first round. Yeah. It's well up off his feet and uh, slammed it. looked like it came down on his head. Was yeah, it? if it was a wrestling match, I would have won that. So <laughs> they should have stopped it there and then. I think with you and Mini Brock, who was out earlier on, yeah. it's been a good night for the wrestling fans. But, um, yeah, my, my takedowns definitely won it for me. Um, that's why I secured it in the second round. And in the third round, when he started coming on strong, landed good shots to my chin, but luckily the chin's quite good. So. I weathered that, took, got the takedown close to my corner, which always helps, and then just kept nice and tight. You've had a uh, couple of tests now at uh, BCMMA. Do, what do you think the next step is for, for uh, your career? Keep learning from this one, doing wanker signs at me over there. <laughs> Wrestling coach, Nick Albert. Um, you know, uh, Bama have been in, uh, speaking to Jack Mason about they want me to fight on their show. Uh, fairly re uh, fairly soon, so it's probably looking like June, July time. So you know it's it's going to be another step up in competition. So I need to get back training hard and conditioning was good there tonight, which was good. I've just maybe I've got to work on my distance a bit better on my striking. Yeah, and just just polish things up a bit. Everything's there, but just need to polish them up so they all click into place nicely. And then, yeah, it should be, should be in there. As I say, it's going to be a shame for you to have to, to give up the title, but you're definitely at this stage in your career now where it's time to yeah. take a step up and, and prove yourself against yeah, the top opponents. And from a fight like that tonight, I yeah, don't see do. any reason why you, you know, couldn't... Fighters do this because they like to challenge themselves. We don't do it for, the, for the, the, like, the money or anything like that. So it's no point sticking at a lower level. The competition's good, but, you know, you want to push yourself. There's no point fighting people you're always going to beat you, you know I want to test myself so yeah. if that means get some losses to you know get myself up there I'm, I'm, I'm happy to lose as long as I'm always improving and stepping up the ladder I think there's too many people these days that almost take on fighting cans and padding yeah. out their records before they get up to, get up to a certain stage and then they can't cut it at that level That's the thing, yeah. and then it's kind of having to drop back it's yeah. working your way up like you have done it's the perfect way to do it in my yeah. opinion I'm with the right team in BKK, you know, everyone's at top level competition here, you know, got Jack Mason, nearly 45, uh, well, it's just shit load, shit load of wins, so, yeah, yeah I mean, I'm in the right place just to keep on moving up. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time, like I say, great performance, yeah. and we'll Thanks see you again much. soon. I appreciate it, thank, thank you. you.